Hi, I'm Dave Allison, a developer here at Seagull, and today I want to show you the XMS uh, system from Seagull in action. So we're looking here at the XMS dashboard. Uh, from here you can control all aspects of the XMS system from your web browser. Uh, we can see up in the top right hand corner there's a performance board. The performance board lets you see the instantaneous performance as a speedometer view of all the uh, servers in your data center. Other panels on this page allow you to control the other aspects of the, the XMS system. First of all, we'll look at the, the topology view. On the left, we click on the topology on the navigation panel on the left, and we show a uh, diagram of the physical connectivity in your data center. You can see on the left we have servers. In the middle, we have the I.O. directors. And on the right, we have a set of clouds. So a cloud for XMS is a set of physical resources attached to the I.O. director I.O. ports. For example, the backup network cloud is attached to a backup network. You can scroll through this system and see other types of clouds. For example, we have the, uh, the backup storage cloud, which is, which is attached to uh, a SAN disk, set of disks that are, that are used for backup. Uh, another view here we can see is if you went to the, uh, the virtual view, in this case, you'll notice that the SQL directors have disappeared. And what we're left with is a set of servers and a set of clouds. What this actually shows you is the virtual connectivity in your data center. You'll notice that ECU servers has a virtual connectivity to various clouds. You scroll down, we can see this one, Windows 2, doesn't have any connectivity. We'll add some later. Um, from this view, you can actually drill down into a particular server and see the virtual NICs and virtual HBAs that it already has uh, be assigned from XMS. Each of those NICs and HBAs are attached to clouds. Uh, from here, we can add a new one simply by right-clicking and selecting, for example, add VNIC. Uh, give it a name, select the cloud you want to go to. Say, let's go to the backup in this case, and submit it. And immediately, a new VNIC appears here, and it's attached to the backup cloud. Uh, likewise, for a VHBA, you can simply add a VHBA. Um, there is also you can add H high availability VNICs and high availability VHBAs. Uh, if you want to get rid of a VNIC or a VHBA, it's simply a matter of selecting the appropriate VNIC and deleting it. And the VNIC goes away. You notice there's no server reboots, and uh, the server sees those changes immediately. Another thing you can do here is if we go back into the uh, virtual view, we can right click and we can show the performance uh, meters for each of the servers. So it pops up a little speedometer view to the left of each server and shows you the instantaneous, instantaneous performance of that server in terms of the networks and storage throughput. And then you can hide those. So we pointed out before that the, the Windows 2 machine here doesn't have any network connectivity, um, either to storage or network through, uh, through virtual, uh, through the Seagull system. Uh, what we're going to do is apply some connectivity to that one through use of a template. Let's go to the physical servers view. And from here, you can see for each physical server that's listed, the, uh, the state of that server in terms of whether it's bound, what state it's in number of virtual NICs, virtual HBAs. And we'll notice here that the Windows 2 machine doesn't have any virtual NICs or virtual HBAs. So what we're going to do is go to the template page and create a template. A template is a way of uh, assigning the I.O. connectivity for a particular type of server. Say, for example, you want a, a web server has a certain uh, one NIC and one H HBA attached to various networks. You can simply assign this web server template to any number of servers in your data center. So I'm going to create a new one for the, ten, for the purposes of this demo. Simply add on the hit, click on the plus sign, and then we can give it a name. Let's call it demo. And we can add a NIC, and we'll add an HBA. Here we can simply say if this NIC here, we want this to connect to the production network. And this VHBA, we want to connect to the Oracle uh, SAN. Template is now complete. We save it. So notice now there is a template called 
demo with one NIC and one VHBA. So if we go back to the physical service page, if we select the Windows 2 server, which, we have, which has no connectivity, and we simply apply that template by clicking on the button to apply the template, select demo and hit submit, what it's going to do is going to give that Windows 2 machine a virtual NIC and a virtual HBA. Here we see it's just come up, one NIC and one HBA. If we go into the topology view for that server, we'll see that that server now has the NIC and the HBA we added. And they are connected to the appropriate network and storage cloud. And that concludes the demo for the XMS. Thank you for watching. Mm-hmm.